Hey guys, welcome back to Tantalizing Tezbats by Rashmi. I hope 2023 is treating you well. Today's recipe is all about this winter vegetable called garbanzo beans or it's also called green chickpeas and we call it as harbara. And if you haven't sampled this nutritious and delicious winter vegetable, then trip to your local grocer will allow you to acquaint yourself with these tiny green chickpeas that are often sold along with the branches that they grow on, as you can see in the picture down. So they are plucked from branches and their soft and fuzzy outer covering is removed to reveal the tiny young chana, which can be even enjoyed raw. This is our family favorite and mom makes two recipes out of it. So mom used to get three to four bundles of these and she used to patiently remove each and every harbara from this pod. These harbaras have plenty of health benefits. They are rich in proteins, rich in vitamins, they are rich in folate. Folate is known to fight depressive symptoms which may be triggered by seasonal affective disorder or winter blues. Now let's look at the first recipe. As you can see in the picture, this is harbara chart. Let's begin the recipe. We have taken harbara in a big pan and then we are going to just uh, sprinkle some water, allow it to cook on a low flame. And once it's cooked, you can see it changes the color. And uh, then saute it. Once it gets dried up, it's time to add little ghee, clarified butter. Believe me, this ghee gives a very nice taste to your chart. And then uh, we are also going to add salt, one can add uh, kala namak, then red chilli powder and then give a good mix to the whole mixture. Switch off the flame and allow this mixture to cool down completely. Now well, let's add other things into our chana. Let's add uh, finely chopped onions, finely chopped coriander and we are also going to add lemon juice. Now one can also use uh, finely chopped tomatoes but since I am using lemon juice so I have not uh, added tomatoes here. Now give a good mix again to the whole mixture to our harbara chart. One can add um, salt or one can add a little more chilli powder as per your taste and look at this our harbara chart is ready. This is awesome guys do try it. One can eat it along with chapati or rice or one can just eat it plain as a chaat. Now let's look at the second recipe which is nothing but roasted harbaras. This is a very simple recipe, one of my favorites again. So I have uh, taken harbaras along with the pods and I am roasting them on my pan. Make sure that flame is low. While roasting them, do add a little salt into the pan and uh, so that will give flavor to our harbara. As you can see, the salt doesn't go right inside. So I've just sprinkled some water, very little water and I'm sorting it really quickly. So I want the evaporated salt water to get attached to the harbara pods. Now continue sorting and make sure that everything is dried up and harbaras are really, really dried. Look at them, they are so nice and brown and really crunchy from inside. So now let's have a look how do they really look like from inside. I've just taken one pod. I'm going to break it open and believe me this is the tastiest munchies you can ever eat. And it's healthy too. So isn't it win-win situation for us? Healthy and tasty and seasonal vegetables. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Winter Special Harbaras. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and make.